Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to film the booktube oldie tag. This is a video that I saw on Bree's channel and she wanted me to do it, so here I am to do it. The booktube oldie tag was created by Monica Kim and I'll leave her channel information down below. It's a tag that basically asks questions about being on booktube for a long time. I came about when the booktube newbie tag was a thing, so I've created that tag as well. And watching that is really embarrassing, by the way. So the first question is, how long have you been a part of the booktube community? Community. My first video was uploaded on November 8th, 2015. Almost five years been on booktube. I believe the reason that I started was a video by Rosiana. She did a video with Aero Bissette. In the video, they talked to each other about booktubers making their own books and what they thought about that. And from then I was like, what? Who is this person? I really liked how Ariel Bissette came across. She was very personable and like off the cuff. So then I started watching all of Ariel's videos and from there came me watching a lot of other YouTube channels through Rosiana books and quills and sane riley marie witty novels who i've literally seen finish high school finish college and get a job i've been watching her that long climb the stacks who brought a different sense of what booktube could be to me because the books that she was reading was, were a lot more literary and she was a lot more analytical about the books that she was reading well done books also in that kind of academic thinking more analytically about books the book hoarder who makes videos on and off i wish she made more videos but seeing her vlogs it's like what i would like my vlogs to be like not that i'm that personable or likable but i really enjoy her videos katriana reed chaboski these are people that i don't even know if they make videos anymore um chaboski definitely doesn't make videos anymore marabotnik kayla rain kayla rain read a lot of like queer lit squibbles reads whose videos are so compelling and and easy to watch and i wish she still made them leaning lights i watched a lot of her videos too and bookables these are all channels that i vividly remember question number two is what was your biggest misconception before starting booktube my biggest misconception is that you have to be big loud and funny to be <laughs> making videos here. I thought that you had to be really gimmicky in the way that you cut your videos, in the way that you edit them. You had to be a big personality to make it here. And I think that that's still sort of true. Like obviously the, the flashier personalities are the ones that get recommended to you, um, but it doesn't mean that people who are a little bit quieter and a little bit more reserved still talking about books don't come across well on booktube. That's what I thought. I thought that I had to be funny and if you watch some of my old videos you can see me like plotting jokes that are really bad. <laughs> Thinking that that's my personality when it's not. Question number three is how do you think booktube has changed since you first started? I wrote a few things. Let's see what I wrote because I wrote this a while ago. Um, much more reading diversity. I think that's very true. Even the things that I read are a lot more diverse now than when I first started on booktube. Trying to read like V.E. Schwab. What was I thinking? I found people that are like me, that read like me, that think about books like me, and that I enjoy watching. Some of these channels, and you can see how my booktube digest has changed from what I answered in the first question to the channels that I think about here. Again, some of these are not making videos or making a lot less videos, but some of them are still making very consistent content. Bookish Sabrina, A Book Olive, Aldi Books, Insert Literary Pun Here, Crystal Marsh, Where's Crystal Marsh? Why isn't she making videos? Mercy's Bookish Musings, My Name is Mighty Ness, that's what she read, Wish Fulfillment. These are all ones that kind of came up and when I searched like my subscription box, it's not everyone obviously, but it's ones that made me start thinking like, oh, these people are reading adult books, these people are reading nonfiction, these people are reading a lot of different genres and talk about all of them on their channel and they're they're fine. So that kind of made me think like really truly read what you want to read. Question number four is what is your favorite booktube memory? This question kind of made me a little bit sad because I don't think I have a booktube memory like what you expect from this question. I've never met anyone that I've become friends with on booktube. I've never thought about putting a lot of work into that either of like money wise trying to think up like I want to go to this convention so I can meet people or anything like that. I've never really lived close to people that that want to meet me or I would want to meet so a lot of the time I see people saying like that's my booktube BFF whatever and those aren't really things that I can relate to but one thing that might be a little bit selfish or pompous and like I, I care too much about myself is that I have memories that I can look back to I really enjoy re-watching my videos from like years ago especially like vlog style videos that I've made like three years ago because you can see like where I was at what rooms I was filming in what my background looked like and what 
what I remember about my personality and like my state of mind at that time. One thing that this has provided me that's like a booktube memory for me is that I do feel like I can go back and see myself kind of develop as a person throughout the videos that I've been making and that's not just like my reading taste which I've definitely evolved since I've started booktube but just me as a person of like moving and making a new life for myself when I started these videos I was starting out my AmeriCorps position in West Virginia then I moved to Florida then I moved to Colorado I've become engaged in that time I bought a house in that time so like my life has really changed and I can see all of those steps of my life changing through my videos sometimes is that self-centered maybe. Question number five is, what are some books that you were introduced to because of booktube? I wrote down quite a few. Fingersmith, which I buddy read, and I've only heard of Sarah Waters because of booktube. I don't think I would have ever heard about her outside of here. Burial Rights, which was a booktube darling, and I read because it was a booktube darling. Brain on Fire, which is a really great memoir that I read because of booktube. A Tale for the Time Being. I don't think I would have ever, like, even come across that book, but I read it because of booktube. Men We Reaped um, by Jasmine Ward, also another memoir that I read because of booktube, a book I hated, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because it was a booktube darling maybe a year or so ago, Normal People, which I really enjoyed, I only heard about because UK booktubers were talking about it, and Truly Devious, the Maureen Johnson trilogy, which again, didn't love, but I read because booktube loves it. Question number six is, what is something that frustrates you about booktube? I really enjoyed Bree's answer to this question and that the focus of a lot of booktube success is the aesthetic and the, the thing that you give off in the backgrounds of your videos and in the lighting that you use and in the editing that you use. I feel like a lot of the really successful people and the people that like have come in the last year or so that have become, have like risen steadily is this like beautiful lighting that they use, these beautiful backgrounds, twinkly lights, white backgrounds, bright colors, plants that kind of a thing, that really comes across. Maybe one day I'll figure out what it is that I would like my aesthetic and vibe to be. I just don't at the moment. <laughs> it's not anything that I necessarily want to like reach or grab um, or aim for. I saw a tweet maybe a couple weeks ago and it basically asked like, don't you feel frustrated that your numbers aren't climbing? Or like, what do you tell yourself in that situation? And my response was kind of like, I don't really want more than 200 people max watching my videos. I feel pretty satisfied with like 150 to 300 views per video, honestly. It just feels like a little bit less pressure and like stress and like eyeballs watching me. Not that people watch to like see you mess up or anything, but I guess that that's just one other thing that I tell myself. Question number seven, the last question is, what is your hope for the future of booktube? I could very easily answer. I hope people keep reading diverse voices. I hope people keep making creative videos, those kinds of things. But one thing that I hope for the future of booktube is really one thing that I hope for the future of YouTube, and that is a better way to search and organize like your niche and like the things that you talk about on your channel because I find it incredibly difficult to find new people to follow on booktube. I've gone through like people who've created like google docs and things where they like keep track of people but I wish that youtube had created a tool for that themselves that's easy to use because what I end up doing is I just wait for readathons that are to my style and like what I like to read and then I watch everybody that's uploaded a video in like the last week of TBR to see if I can get with the personality of the person and like their reading taste and if they can make that a little bit easier where I don't have to work my butt off to find people, new people to watch because people drop like flies all the time including myself, that would be really lovely. So that's what I hope for the future of booktube and just YouTube in general. So that's it for the booktube oldie tag. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Brought me down memory lane, figuring out like what videos sparked my interest in booktube, like when I started making videos. I watched a few of my old videos and it was face palming embarrassment and it made me think of the people that I watch that have really shaped my time here on booktube from like YA booktubers to the people that I follow now. So it was quite lovely and thanks Brie for mentioning this tag and talking about it on your bookstagram. If you're a booktube oldie, I totally recommend that you do this. I'd love any of the people that I mentioned in like my question four. If any of you want to do it, I'll just shout you out. Hold on. Are you still making booktube videos? Bookish Sabrina, Book Olive, Aldi Books, insert literary pun here. Crystal Marsh, again, where's Crystal Marsh? 
Mercy's Bookish Musings. My name is Mighty Ness. That's what she read. Wish fulfillment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.